Hi guys, today I am doing what I think is my first ever voiceover of a headcam video. I don't think I've actually done a headcam video on YouTube before and that's because my headcam is not that good to be honest. Sometimes it kind of glitches out. So I thought I would do a groom tack up and ride with me as I had set up a good jump course the day before and I thought it would be fun to do some headcam videos of it because obviously I would say jumping is the best thing to do for headcam videos so the first thing I did was gave Clyde a nice big brush all over because he was quite greasy, he looks quite shiny in it but um, you can kind of see the grease a bit so I'm going to give him a, um, a bath the next day as well because um, the grease just wasn't really coming out. Then after that I got my saddle after I checked his feet out as well obviously and then I'm just putting it on here and Clyde stands really nicely for getting his saddle put on which is really really handy. As you can see Clyde's mane looks a mess but that's because it doesn't get brushed unless we're going to a show and obviously there's no shows on this year but he's got his new Citroen saddle pad on as well which is so nice. I've got the matching base layer and hats up for it as well which is really handy and this is just me trying to get Clyde's girth up which is obviously very tight sometimes but today I actually got it up quite to like really tight. The next thing I think I did was got my jumping boots for um, when we're going over the poles because we didn't want him to hit his feet off anything obviously or his legs I should say and his jumping boots are filthy I am very sorry about that they need a, they need a clean they're covered in mud but it's not on the inside so it's just on the outside just putting his boots on here he actually stands really good for getting his boots put on which is really handy because um, I don't like it when the horse kind of moves about a lot when they're getting it put on next thing I did was put his bridle on he is also so so good at getting his bridle put on lots of horses don't want to accept the bit but he'll just accept it straight away as you can see in the video kind of but my GoProing isn't very good. I'm not very good at this clearly as you can see that is why I am not um, a head cam kind of account but he accepts a bit really well. That's just me sorting his brow band and sorting his mane, getting his mane untucked because obviously he's got a very long mane so it needs untucked before he gets ridden. Now he was all ready and I was all ready as well. Um, I took him to our mounting block, which is a chair because mounting blocks are quite expensive and not really point in paying a hundred pounds for a mountain block when we've just got a good, a good chair. So I got on him here. I had my phone in my hands because my sister was going to take from some videos for me for my Instagram, but I didn't have any pockets at that time. Now we're just warming up. It was such a nice day, honestly. It was blue skies. I think the camera's a bit bleached out because it was such blue skies. There wasn't really a cloud in the sky at all. And I was just giving Clyde a good walk around the bottom of the field to let him see some of the jumps that I'd set up and to keep him interested basically before I started riding. That's when we started trotting. It was like, kind of forwards but not too forwards so I had to do some transitions like trotting to halt because I wanted him really forward for doing the jumps because it, the, it was the biggest we'd jumped in a while because um, he just had a bit of a break from jumping. As you can see, Clyde never puts his ears forward when I'm riding. He looks really grumpy all the time, but he is enjoying himself. He does put them forward a bit sometimes, but not really. Anyway, I'm going to give you a little edit of us finishing warming up, and then I will do a little voiceover of us jumping.
now Clyde was finally ready, he was all warmed up, time to do a little jump, so I just started off with this little tire jump and I think we got a bit of a bad stride into it, but he jumped it fine and that was basically our little warm up jump. As you can see, if you have a look around, these are all the jumps we set up. Next I decided to do the three tire jumps all together as a combination and I kind of brought him in quite bad to that but he did it okay and then this was really tight after this one but it was fine because they were small jumps so it wasn't like as bad if you got the stride a bit wrong. Next I moved up to a bit of a higher height, it was only about 70 because we didn't jump too high that day. That's Sophie running in to get Honey out of the way because she almost got trampled but he jumped that one nice. I think he hit the pole at the end but it was okay because it was just the way I'd brought him in and he didn't really have enough momentum to get over it. Now we're popping the corner jump, which I was a little bit nervous about because I haven't really done corner jumps before, but he popped it really nicely and he had no problem with it at all, which I didn't really expect him to have a problem with it, but it was quite good that he didn't. I'm trying to think where I'm going now, I haven't actually watched these videos yet. I think, oh, I'm going in for the sheep jump. Oh, he popped that nice, we actually put it up a bit later in the video, like two holes up or something. I'm doing this little combination again, Clyde's much more forward than he was when I'd started riding him, I think. He was getting quite excited because he does really like jumping. Where am I going? Oh, I'm going to the barrels now. Uh, it's got a little water tray in front of it. There we go, that was quite nice. He kind of jumped the barrel instead of the actual pole though. Oh yeah, this is the start of us doing an actual course now, I think. So he flew over that one and then the tire jump. He was just so excited and it's nice to see him so happy when he's jumping. Obviously the camera is a little blurry at the edges and I apologise, that'll be my finger that's been rubbing it, it's got a bit steamed up. But then up to the corner, we hadn't jumped it this way before and we'd put it up a bit, but he jumped it absolutely fine and he flew over it. And then that came in really, really quick. So. We kind of messed up the strides a bit to that, but he jumped fine in the end and he was just loving it. He was going so forward and enjoying himself, as you can see here. Next was this little 71, and that was fine. And then into the tires again, which was quite tight because I hadn't actually planned out the striding for that one, but it seemed to go fine. And then after this, we went down and then round the corner into the little field to have a canter up and then go over the next jump. He loves going around this corner because he knows he's going to go fast and he gets really excited. And then this him cantering along, he was really enjoying it, it felt really really smooth, I was just nervous he was going to trip but he didn't. And then I kind of had to slow him down a bit for that one otherwise he was going to crash right through it. Then he had to go through the gate and he had to slow down a little bit for that and then last jump had to turn quite tight was the barrels and he just enjoyed it so so much. Since he'd been such a good boy, I decided to let him have a little canter up the field to finish because he really, really enjoys doing it. Sometimes he gets a little bit overexcited when he's doing it, but I thought, you know what, he's been really good, so let's just go for it. And he was really good. Sometimes he has a wee buck, but this time he managed to contain himself, which was good. But as you can see, he's just really enjoying himself going up that hill. And um, I'm just annoyed that it's gone a bit blurry in the corner, but at least you can still see what Clyde's doing. After that, I cooled him down a bit, touched the roof as you do, and then got off, gave him a big pat, lots of treats, and I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I'm not very good at voiceovers because I don't do them very often, but hopefully you enjoyed watching Clyde from a different view to what you normally get, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye! Find a place and lose it, you can go it, won't you dance with me?